What's the stupidest double standard you ever heard from someone? Dude I worked with felt I needed to know that he'd have to have a wife and a mistress, because he didn't want someone who sucked his dick kissing the kids. And I was like have you considered maybe washing your dick better? My friend's mom said men cheating and women cheating are different because men only care about the physical and not the emotional. Come to find out, she was being cheated on by her current husband, and I am assuming this is how she coped. He can't refuse sex. He's the man. The woman always decides when and where we have sex. Everybody knows that. In marriage counseling, my ex-wife while we were still married. She was serious, too. We judge ourselves by our thoughts and intentions, and others by their actions. My husband bitches about people on welfare while actively getting medical assistance and social security from the state. It's not okay for my boyfriend to cheat on me because that's cheating. It's okay if I cheat because I'm not getting what I need out of the relationship. Company won't give you a reference when you leave, just your dates of employment and job title. Same company won't hire you without a reference. My aunt slut for wearing short skirts. She doesn't know the father of two of her three children. Only idiots drive that fast 150 kmh on a 120 road. I'm in a hurry and I'm a good driver, I can go 150. Women are allowed to be more upset about double standards Liz Lemon. My cousin's kid had his toy taken by another kid, and he slapped her. My cousin ran over, slapped him, and yelled. No hitting. Personally from me. In gaming, I berate anyone who doesn't play as a team, while I run off and do my own thing. I was talking with someone about wedding and the fact that a man can take his wife's name if he wants to. He said no way, it would be so bizarre. Imagine, this guy lives 25 years with one last name, and one day he has to answer to a completely different name. I said well, that's what the women have been doing for a long time. To what he answered it's not the same. I had a production manager who would come in late and leave early most days and then make problems for anyone who needed a half day for anything. I call my cat chubby all the time but as soon as someone else does it, I get so offended. My dad is a beast and he makes fun of fat people all the time. I once got in trouble at school for hitting a girl which I didn't do, what really happened was that a girl that bullied me for being on the spectrum decided that she wanted to beat me up. I didn't touch her. I got in trouble for hitting her and she didn't get in trouble because she lied to the principal, and the principal didn't believe me because in her words you can't be trusted because I was autistic. Long story short, the school system sucks. A male friend of mine told his long-distance GF that he was going to start dating someone else, but she couldn't. Sounds ridiculous, right? And she still got back together with him afterwards from a colleague at a previous job. This country is full of migrants, I'm fed up. I'm going to move to New Zealand. My ex-wife had a real problem with me getting into a new relationship before our divorce was finalized. I was committing adultery, according to her. Her friend also entered into a relationship before her divorce was finalized and that was okay. Her reasoning was that her friend was a woman, and that her husband had left her.